All right, legends, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed the other videos in the series of Mission Possible. Let's continue. This video is on the animal farm farms. Okay, we're just going to the basics. What are farms? The farms are the staking options that utilize a pair of tokens or coins or one of each to create a pair, liquidity pool pair. So you stake your pair and then you earn rewards. Simple. Now we're just going to do some of the nomenclature so you understand the different parts of the animal farms, farms, so you know what each of these things mean. The pair, the top corner here, which is the pair you're using in this particular example is the drip in the BUSD. Core, the core means that it's a native token of our site. So the dogs would be native and the pigs would be native. Boom. Of course, drip. The multiplier here right now, because it's not active, it's zero multiplier, but normally there's like a two, one, two, three, or four, or it could be any number. But that multiplier is of how many rewards are going to be there per block. So times four would be four extra rewards, four extra BUSD rewards per block, and so on. Then the drip BUSD staked here, this is going to tell you how much you have staked 10 LPs or whatever, whatever. Here is going to show you how many pigs that you have earned because you're earning pigs since you started your stake. Next, of course, the APR. That can range anywhere from single digits to triple digits or quadruple digits, four digits. It just depends on the timing. Now, in the drip BUSD LP bubble here, this is going to show the amount of LP tokens you have in your wallet and that they are ready to deposit. So now you're ready to deposit. You just click that little detail tab as we see right here. Then information unfolds. The total liquidity. This is going to display the total amount or the total value of all the drip and BUSD liquidity pool tokens in that particular farm. Get the drip BUSD, well, it should, yeah, I don't, it's not matching because that's the way you have it right now. So technically, it should have said drip BUSD here. If you click this, it'll take you, but normally it's going to take us into Pancake Swap, but he's going to create it so that it stays inside of the farm in our ecosystem. So you would click it, add a little to liquidity, put your dogs in there and your BUSD, create the liquidity pool tokens, you're good to go. To view the contract. Remember, everything is on the blockchain. And everything is based on the smart contract. If you want to see how many LPs are in the smart contract, because you can't lie about the contract, click it. It'll take you to the BSC scan and you can view the contract and see all the analytical information you want. See the pair info. You can click this. It'll take you to pancake swap and then it will show you the chart of that actual drip liquidity pool drip and the BUSD liquidity pool token uh, and, it's, and all the uh, Ooh, and all the market information, excuse me, how to start farming. So first you have to decide on which farm you want to go into. Click the details tab, like I showed in the next one. When you click it, it's going to display the get whatever, like this one's going to say USDT and BUSD. Here you will need the two, these are going to be the two tokens or coins that you're going to be pairing up. Once you have these two tokens in your wallet, you can select liquidity. If you're in the pancake swap, if you want our native decks here inside the farm, it's already going to be set up for you where well, you will create these LP tokens. When you're done, the amount of LPs are going to be displayed here in this bubble. At the same time, the fact that you have them here, you're going to, this is going to turn green and say you had 20 LPs, but you only want to deposit 10 today. So when you select this button, the green button, you're going to put 10. Enter, gonna confirm it with your wallet, and you're good to go. Now your LPs are staked in that, and then once you refresh, up here it's gonna show 10. And of course you haven't earned any pigs yet, but then give it some time and you'll start seeing your pigs start to go up. Time to harvest and farm. So now you either wanna unstake your pigs, I mean, excuse me, your LP tokens, 
or you just want to claim your rewards. So if you select the unstake button, if you have your 10 LPs in here, it's going to remove those 10 LPs and put them back into your wallet. Then you can go back to pancake swap or inside the decks, inside the animal farm in the menu and break the part, the pair, the, the LPs apart back into separate USDT and separate BUSD and do whatever you're going to do with it. Now, if you don't want to unstake them, you just want to pull out your claim for the day. You'll come in here 24 hours later, hit claim, and it will take all your pigs you earned here and put them into your wallet. It's just that simple. All right, folks. Now, this is where we get to the good stuff. The strategies. This is what I'm saying, folks. You really have to sit, take some time. You, you really want to take the time and do your own research, of course, because this is your money. And you want to have a plan of what you're going to do when you claim your pigs. So I'm just going to go through these three simple options. So we're using right now, we're using the drip and the BUSD pool. I mean, excuse me, farm. So this is the why I'm doing based on that example. So we stake drip and BUSD, as we can see here. And what we earn are pig tokens. So now here it is Sunday, 24 hours later, I decided, oh, hey, I got some pigs available. I have one pig. So I can take that one pig claim it and throw it into the piggy bank but then i come in on sunday on monday and i have ten dollars of busd inside my pig pen minus forget the pigs i can claim that busd my pigs will go back into the pig pen and then i can take that busd and go over to the garden buy some um some plants i can make a, a um, lp token and go into the piggy bank or I can go into the BUSD single pool. Options, people. Options, options. It's always about options. Of course, I have that glowing because this is ideal. If you watch the video on the pigs, you understand. Say less. Okay, so next. Okay, so again, it's tomorrow. Oh, hey, I got two pigs in there. I can take those pigs, combine them with some BUSD, and create me some time locked well one time lock and one non-time lock stake in the piggy bank boom or i could take them same pigs of course put them into the piggy bank or the pig pin or once the new pig pin game comes you can play the game with it so these are just a few options folks you have to analyze and do what's best for you now here's some notes Understand that the farms are made with a combination of two tokens of coins and the difference between a coin and a token. Bitcoin is is a coin. Litecoin is a coin. Ethereum is a coin. If they're not a native coin, then they're going to be called a token. OK, now when staking in liquidity pools, you're going to deposit equal amounts of funds, like I said. So if you're doing drip in BUSD, it's going to be $50 worth of drip and $50 of BUSD to total your $100 impermanent loss <sighs> you have to understand where this comes from impermanent loss comes when providing liquidity to dual asset pools in the DeFi space it's the difference in the value between depositing two crypto assets essentially when you lose more value in one as compared to the other so if you're doing drip and busd drip can go up and down busd is going is a stable coin so it's going to be stuck there at the dollar so, of course, the most stable and the ones with no real impermanent loss would be USDC and BUSD because they're both stable coins. So you got to take the loss with it. Now, remember, you don't lock in the loss until you sell the token. So if you say we, we were in the market now and you already were in this particular farm of drip, drip and BUSD, drip went down to nine dollars from when you got it at one hundred and fifty dollars. Now you just let them sit there, keep doing whatever they're doing, earning your pigs, and then wait for the drip side to go back up. And then at that point, take your profit. This is what I'm saying, folks. You have to have a strategy. You wouldn't want to sell now and come out of that farm. Now you want to wait until you can cut your losses and wait till the drip goes back up to the $150 or more. And at that point, if you choose to close out that particular farm and harvest everything out, that's what you do. And also remember the APYs and the APRs are going to fluctuate. When when the pools first open, you will see the pools will be thousands of percentages per APR, APY, however you want to look at it. 
then as every as everybody rushes in, rushes in, rushes in, the APRs and APYs will start coming down slowly. So please be aware of that. And of course, the more popular the pool or the farm, the lower the APR. All right, folks. Always remember that it's an individual endeavor. You do what's best for you, what's best for your family and your family's financial legacy. Drip has the community component. That's why we still kicking the ass, getting paid 1% a day because of the community and our development team, Forex Sharp. Increase your knowledge, reduce your risk. These, this entire series was created to ensure that you knew how each part of the Drip ecosystem that we have right now functions. After the series is complete, there is no reason you should not be able to get into anything that Drip has to offer, period. And as always, this is for informational and educational purposes only. It's never intended as any type of financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And thank you for all those that have already done it. Please continue because it means a lot to me. And as always, legends, like it says right here, it's time to plant and harvest. Let's go because you should be making passive income 24-7, 365. Your money should never be sleep. From sun up to sundown and vice versa, all day long, 24 hours a day, you should be making money with your money like Drip does. We make that 1% 24-7, 365, no holidays. To all of my legends, engage. <laughs>